Hello everyone. In today's video, let's take a look at how we can automate your data cleaning task using Power Query. Power Query is a very efficient automation tool for data cleaning task and is available with Microsoft Excel as well as Power BI. For this video, I'm going to be using Power BI Desktop to launch the Power Query. Feel free to use Microsoft Excel to launch Power Query and work with this video as well. All the features remain the same. Before we delve right into it, do not forget to subscribe to my channel for the latest topics on data analysis across different technologies. By the end of this video, you will be quite familiar with Power Query and understand why you should be using it for all of your data cleaning tasks and you will never be doing data cleaning in Excel again, but you will be using Power Query to automate your steps for you. For most data cleaning activities, we are required to work with some data and often when new data gets appended to your existing data or more data comes in in the form of different files, we have to perform those tasks over and over again. We are going to see in Power Query how you can automate these tasks and how you can eliminate repetitive tasks as well as easily, easily clean your data. So I've opened the Power BI desktop. I'm going to click on the Get Data option now. I'm going to select on More. And I'm going to choose the Folder option and click on Connect. And here I'm going to pass the folder path where the files are stored. So we can see in my C drive, I have two employee data files. Maybe the employee data is coming from different regions or different states. So they are, they are collected in multiple files. So I've kept the two files here. I've given the folder path now and I'm going to click on OK. And now you can see the two files have been loaded. Now, since I want to combine the data, I'm going to click on combine and combine and transform data because I want to do some data operations on the data. And now your Power Query editor window will open soon. Now I can see the preview of the data that I'm working with. It shows from the first file, the sheet has this data. Let me see the second file. The second file, if I click on the sheet, it will show it has these three rows. So I'm going to click on OK. And now my Power Query window has loaded. You can see it has bought in records from each of the files. From the first file, it has bought in three rows. And then from the second file, it has bought in another three rows. Let's do some data transformation activities on this data. So I'm going to right click and remove the column because I don't need the source file as I'm working with the combined data for data analysis. Now for employee ID, if I know E0 is common for all the employee IDs, I do not need it, need it. I can just show the employee number. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on split column, split by number of characters. And I'm going to choose two from the leftmost space. Click on OK. And now it has split it. I can right click and delete, remove this column. And I'll say, I'll rename this to employee number. Now I want to do another transformation. I say I have job title and department. I want to combine both into a single field as employee category. So I'll select job title, hit the control key on my keyboard and select department. And I'll go to transform, click on merge columns. I select the separator, choose custom, give it a hyphen, click OK. And I have a new category. I can rename this as EMP category. And you can see my transformations have been done. And the beautiful part of this is all the transformation steps have been recorded here. So for any new, da new data coming in or any new file coming in, it will automatically apply these transformation steps and do not do it again and again, which I would have to do in Excel or any other software. So let's take a look at this now. I can go to home. I can click on close and apply. And if you're working with Excel, you can Click on close and load and it will load it to the Excel sheet. So close and apply. And now it has loaded the data. So I'm going to close this. And now you can see my query has loaded here. So I expand this and you can see all the fields are there. Now let's take a look at this data. I'm going to click on visualizations. I'm going to add a table here. 
Let me minimize these things. Expand the table so we can see our data. Let us add some fields. Let us see employee number, full name, gender, employee category. Let me remove the sum option. It's giving the sum of employee numbers. I'll say click on this and say don't summarize. Okay, now let me try and paste an another file here. So this is employee underscore data underscore three file. All right, and let us see what happens here. Let's open this file first. Okay, we can see this file is the employee data from another region and it has two more employees. Okay, so I can close this file and you can see here the again the employee ID has E0 and there is no employee cat employment category. We again have department and we have job title. Let's see if the transformation works. This data is coming again in the raw format. So I copy the data. I'm going to close this. Don't save. All I need to do is, is go back and refresh my query. And the two rows are loading now. You can see this. It will load shortly. And now you can see the two new rows, Luke Martin and Eastern Bailey have, have loaded. And not only that, the other transformation steps that we applied to the earlier data, like removing the E0 and making this employment category by department and job title, this also, also has happened. So you can see when, for, when new data is added or new files are coming in or new data is appended to your existing sheets, how the transformations will work again and all of this will happen automatically. In Excel or any other language, you would have to do the coding explicitly yourself but in power query all this is automated for you so you can see the beautiful power of power query now let's take a look at another example where we have one sheet one excel workbook and there are multiple sheets containing similar data but from different parts of the organization or different locations so i can have you can see data in in three sheets and not only that is you can see that the columns are not matching in the three sheets here i have gender underscore one ethnicity underscore one and here again, I have different columns. So let's see how we can append data here using Power Query. So I'm going to click on Get Data. I'm going to click from Excel Workbook this time. I'm going to select the, the workbook. Click on OK. And you can see it has loaded the three different sheets. Now I can select the three sheets. Sheet 1, Sheet 2, and sheet 3. I'm going to click on transform data because I want to perform some transformation task. Now again the power query editor has opened. You can see it has loaded all my three queries for sheet 1, sheet 2 and sheet 3. But I want to combine this into a single query as I said because it has similar data, similar columns, but only the person's data is captured from different parts of the, of the organization of the, or, or different branches there in different sheets. So let's see how I can work with this data for data analysis. Also, let's see how we can correct these column names, right? So I'm going to click on sheet one and let's go to append queries. You do appending of queries when they, you want to stack the data one top of the other. I'm going to click on append as new. Okay, three or more tables. I'm going to click on that. So I'm going to take sheet one, sheet two, and sheet three. Click on OK. And now you can see this is giving me the data appended beautifully and it has combined the rows from all the sheets. The only problem is that it has shown me it has given null values because for the columns that are, that are, that are not matching, so gender one, at the, ethnicity under one and eight underscore one, which is not there in the first sheet. So it, there's no uh, column for that. So it has given null for those values. Null means empty in Power Query. So, but these columns are same. So I want to change them. So what do I do? I'll go back to these queries. Let's go to sheet two. 
and let's just rename the column to gender. You can see how easy this is in Power Query. This would have been tough in Excel or any other software. Click on ethnicity, click on age. And you can see this has given me a kind of a formula here. This is called the M language in Power Query. I can copy this and did not do this step again for if I want to do it for the next query. So I click on sheet three and you can insert a new step by clicking on FX here. I click on sheet three, click on FX, insert a new step and I'm going to paste the previous code. And there it's done. I'll go to the append again. And you can see now all the columns, all the data stacked in, in the column, in the gender, ethnicity and the age column. And I can close and apply. And apply the changes here. Okay, the, the data is loaded. Let me close this. Now you can see my queries have loaded. This is my new query. So I'm going to select a new table so that we can see the data. And let's select the full name, gender, job title, ethnicity. And you can see my records have loaded from both of the sheets. So this is a short tutorial on, on Power Query and why you, sh you should be using it. If you want me to make more videos on the features of Power Query and Power BI, do let me know and I'll be making more videos on the same. If you like the video, do leave a like and a comment on the video so that I'll make more videos on the same topic. Thank you.